Second Timothy 2, 1 to 7. You know very well this. You, ex you exegeted this verse well. But I just want to summarize, going back to the three metaphors as a reminder this morning to all of us. Okay, as a soldier, let's glean some lessons from the battleground. Number one, we are warned about the danger of destruction. As a soldier, there are a lot of destruction. A week ago, I visited my nephew. He's the he is a lieutenant colonel. He's the battalion commander of the 25th Infantry Battalion, based in Compostela. He's a young guy. I think he said to me he 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 bragged a little bit about because he's just like his uncle. May mayabang din eh. <laughs> Ang sabi niya, Uncle, ako atang pinaka-batang battalion commander. I don't know, may mga military tayo rito. Ano? Uh, uh, sabi niya. And he was showing me about the fireball concept, the training of 14 hectares of land, of camp, in uh, Mungkayo. And I visited him during the night, and he was so gracious. And having me led, pinick up po ako sa isang, anong tawag doon? Yung nagsiset ng... Ano doon? Mga tulungan niyo ako, Colonel Erwin. Anong tawag doon yung... Hindi, yung may gate. No, no. Checkpoint, checkpoint tulad. Hindi po ako, pastor ho ako eh. Hindi, ko, hindi ako sanay sa mga checkpoints eh. So, I was there and called up. It's so dark and uh, I cannot find the way. And said, Uncle, he said to me, uh, I will pick you up there. I will send the... Uh, and then, lo and behold, the military truck was there. I, I gave my, six by six, I gave my uh, uh, plate number and we were being, you know, guided by a six by six, you know, military truck. And uh, he was explaining to me how he are doing their exercises and etc. And I said to him, your family is in Manila, no? Uh, because his, his wife is a, is a head nurse in, in a hospital in Makati. And I said, How's your focus as a soldier? Your family, your two, two children studying in college here in, Man in Manila. And I said, I tried to test him on that. Because as a, a military man, there are a lot of distractions. That's why the Bible used this metaphor. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang distracted, ha? Dami May networking. Ala, sige, ang dami eh. Kung ano-ano yan. Ha? Our best defense is to become people of intensity. We are called to serve the nation if you are a soldier at that. And we fulfill and we make a pledge to the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines if you are a military soldier, if you are a military, if you are a man of uniform. God's warning to us is don't fear. There are a lot of things going around. Most of us fear that guy in, in the vow, which he said recently that he owns the world. <laughs> I call him Pastor Kumunoy. <laughs> we fear a lot. Maybe my health is going to fail. I cannot make it. By the way, it's a joking way when I, when Kuya Philip asked me, Hill, because I met him when I was 19 years old. I was the youth director then at Faith Academy and we invited him from Navigators to speak in our youth camp. That was my first engagement with Kuya Philip, 19. And he asked me, ilang taong ka na? Sagot ko sa kanya, second question please. <laughs> Pero I'll be honest, I'm 61 years old. Uh, yung mga nagsabi na wala sa mukha, Dodoblihin ko ang tanghalian nyo. Aha. Yes. Don't fear. The fear of resources. The fear of competence. Ang dami niyan. No? Our ultimate goal in that metaphor should be to please the commander. Asking question always 24-7. Is my heart right to serve God? Is Jesus pleased? in what I'm doing 24-7. Lessons from the world of athletics. 
We are warned about the danger of disqualification. We read a lot of Olympic game stories. I use many illustrations on that. One of which is uh, John Stephen Aquari of Tanzania. You know the story of that guy. He still managed to move on in spite of the Finnish race, bruised and healed and wounded badly, but he still managed to go to the finish line. Even unrecognized. Our, our best defense is to become people of integrity. People of integrity. You know, the definition of integrity comes from the word integer. It's whole. It cannot be divided. When we say integrity is related to the heart. The total being of a leader, of a pastor. One quotation I memorized says, there's only one, there's only one thing that refuses to be buried with the dead, and that is his character. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, patay ka na, pag-usapan pa ang ugali mo. <laughs> pag-usapan pa rin yan. That's one thing, refuses to be buried with the dead. This is character. God's warning to us is don't cheat. Can we say the words, don't cheat? Don't cheat. Cheating comes in many forms. You can cheat other people. You can cheat your spouse. You can cheat your children by not fulfilling your promises to them, etc. You can cheat your congregation. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, huwag kang mandaraya. Mandaraya eh. Our ultimate goal should be to win the prize. The way of saying this, as I challenged all of us, is we can say with Paul, 2 Timothy chapter 4, I have fought the good fight. I have run the race. I have finished the course. Sige nga, just gently tap the shoulder of your neighbor and you say, finish well. I met Bishop Noel, I, I, Bishop uh, F. Tendero, in the office at BCEC. And we had, uh, you know, short talk, short talk, uh, I mean, short conversation. And I asked him, Bishop F., what do you foresee in the ending part of your life, ending part of your years? And said to me, Pastor Hill, he looked at me in the eyes. Kasi magkasangtangkad kami. At saka, for all your information, magkasing edad kami ni Bishop. No? Mas guwapo lang ako sa kanya. Huwag <laughs> niyo sabihin niya. <laughs> Arang sabi ko sa kanya, talagang, ewan ko, bakit yun ang tinanong ko nung araw na yun? Ewan ko, siguro. Sabi ko sa kanya, Bishop, ano ang gusto mo makita sa pagdating ng dulo ng buhay mo? Just short, sabi niya, Pastor Hill, please pray for me. I wanted to finish strong. Then he turned his back at me. Ako natulala eh. Palayo siya dyan. And those words reverberate clearly in my heart. And I prayed a little prayer in that while I'm standing in that aisle. Lord, I wanted to be like this bishop. Help me by your grace to finish it strong. Say mo sa katabi mo. Tapikan mo yung katabi mo. Tapikin mo. Matapos ka, kapatid. Yes. <laughs> Nag-usap kami ng asawa ko patungkol dito sa pagtanggap ng bagong... Uh, for one more, uh, understand me, medyo, medyo emotional ako ng konti. Parang nag-usap kami. Kasi sabi ko sa Panginoon, 50% ayos na Panginoon. But I need, before I went to Bishop Noel and said, I need your blessing dito, Bishop. Huwag niyo kong iwanan kung tatangkapin ko ito. So 50%, okay na sa akin. Ang kalahati, decision sa asawa ko. <laughs> oh, sabi ko, Lord, ano to? Dahan-dahanin ko to sa sabihin. Para hindi mabigla. No? 
At siyempre, ang magandang setup noon, ilibre mo siya sa McDo. Diba? Kain tayo, kain tayo. Uh-huh. So, we drove all the way to that place and kapi-kapi kami. Alam nyo, nakakalat ang asawa pag matagal na kayo at medyo kinukompose mo yung kwan, yung iniisip mo. Nakakalata. Sabi niya sa akin, mukhang may sasabihin ka sa aking mahalaga. <laughs> mukhang may sasabihin ka sa aking mahalaga. Sabi ko, oo oh, nga yan. Ano ba nangyayari sa'yo? Uh, hindi ko masabi. Kasi, kasi ang tawag ko sa asawa ko, dear. Short ng kumandir. <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanya. <laughs> ah? Sabi ko, alam mo, dear. <laughs> Kasi kailangan niya na eh, ma-engage sila. So, na, 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 nagulat lang. Kasi we were having a di- uh, dinner, one of the uh, restaurants in, ano to, sa crossing? Ano yan? Pastor Larry, alam mo yung palagi ka ron eh. Shangri-La, yeah. We're having a date with my wife. And then all of a sudden, there's a group talking nearby in our table. Dalawa lang ang asawa ko. Dumating si Bishop Noel at saka si yung wife niya, si Jenny, Sister Jenny. Sabi ni Pastor Noel, uh, this was, I think, four months ago. Sabi niya, sinasabi ko na nga ba, sabi niya. Answered prayer, sabi niya. Sa, nakaharap ang asawa ko. Tanggapin mo yung, sabi niya, tanggapin mo na yung bagong posisyon na. Kasi nagta-transition si Kuya Philip. Di, tumi, yung mata ko ay yung asawa ko. Tingin! Sabi, ano eh, hindi, hindi lang akong kumibo. Kasi sabi ko, there's a right time for that na meaning ko. So yun na nga, sa McDo. So, tagal mong... No, yung kape mo malamig na, magano no. This is And then she smiled. He just looked at me. Affirm. Hindi niya sinabi sa akin na bising busy mo na, tumanggap ka pa niyan. Hindi niya ako sinabunutan. Talaga namang. Ah. And uh, last night she's texting me. Hindi ito nakakaiyak yung kasi kayo, chismoso kayo. Nagpo-post na, <laughs> nagpo-post na kayo agad sa Facebook. Di nakita niya. Hindi pa nga ako nagpo-post eh. What, what's happening there? What's happening? Sabi ko na nga ba ito, mga kaibigan ito, mga chismoso, nagpo-post lahat. Siyempre, makikita niya yung post kasi connected din eh. Tapos pati yung anak ko sa, sa US, sa Pennsylvania, nakita niya. Sabi niya, dad, kayo na ba yung topic uh, national facilitator dyan? Sabi niya, oh, sabi ko, yes, anak, by God's grace, please help me pray. Kaya minsan, ang pagkachismoso, talagang... <laughs> Our ultimate goal should be to win the prize. Lesson from the field of farming. I came from a family of farmers. Oh, alam ko yung pinag-usapan. Some of you also perhaps came from that background of farming. We are warned about the danger of discouragement. Kailan kaya no, makakaani? Aanihin mo na. Dumating pa si Umpong. Pambihira. I arrived from the US after Umpong devastated our nation. I remember 12, September 19, September 18. There's a time when Florence, Hurricane Florence also hit the uh, the Carolinas in the U.S. We tend to get discouraged easily. Mga kapatid, sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, be strong in the Lord, kapatid. Be strong. Our best defense is to become a people of industry. Not only the passion, but not only the love for that work that God has given you. Our calling Friends, it's important. For me as a pastor, my calling is not only, yes, spiritual calling that we need to embrace, but many occasions that steers me and motivates me to serve Him. Our calling. God's warning is, God's warning to us is don't quit. It's easy to throw the towel away. 
anong ginagawa ng boksingero kapag yung coach niya, nakita niya yung boksingero niya, ay eh, binubugbog na. He throws the towel at the canvas. Meaning, tama na, surrender na. Ha? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, brother, don't easily, quickly throw your towel on the canvas. Wala na to. Topic na to, wala na. Wala na. Hindi na, wala na magpresyon. Pagod na. No. Our ultimate goal should be to enjoy the harvest. We plant watermelons in my town. My father was a great farmer. And had acres then, during those years, we planted big watermelons. If you want to eat sweet, crispy melons, dyan sa tarlak. Diyan, marami dyan. Harvest time. Carts drawn by water buffaloes or carabaos. Nuang sa Ilocano. Buwang sa Tagalog. <laughs> ah, grabe. We have a yard as big as this size. The whole second floor. The, whole, the carts are being pulled there. And then they unload all these big watermelons. And people from the barrio, they love to visit us because my father is so much generous. They share the harvest of freshly picked watermelons. After all, who is Apollo, 2 Corinthians 3, 5, who is Paul? We are only God's servants through whom you believe the good news. Each of us did the work the Lord gave us. I planted the seed in your hearts and Apollos watered. But it was God who made it grow. It's not important who does the planting or who does the watering, but important is that God makes the seed grow. The one who plants and the one who waters work together with the same purpose and both will be rewarded for their own hard work. For we are both God's workers and you are God's field. This is the matrix. Good soldier, the danger, destruction, disciplined athlete, disqualification, hardworking farmer, discouragement. Defense, good soldier, intensity, disciplined athlete, integrity, hardworking farmer, industry. Warning for the soldier, don't fear. Warning for the athlete, don't cheat. Warning for the farmer, don't quit. The goal, to please the commander, to win the prize, to enjoy the harvest. Friends, let me just leave you a simple challenge. I pray that you will lead and live like Jesus. Live and lead like Jesus. Shall we bow our heads please in prayer? We humble our hearts, Lord, before you as we end this summit. Thank you for the sweet flowing touch of the Spirit of God the spirit of oneness and unity and kindredness of your people, of your leaders. Endow them with the gift that they will be enabled to discharge not only their duties, that they will become completely faithful to the end. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.